Welcome back. Even though it's winter here in Lower Alabama, this is a great time of year to plant one of my very favorite crops. You're probably familiar with these roots. Ginger. What a lot of people don't realize about ginger, however, is it can grow just about anywhere in the United States. Yes, you heard me right. Even in a temperate climate, you can grow this tropical root crop. It takes a little bit of different thinking, but you can actually make it happen. Ginger is super easy to grow, and you can grow it from grocery store roots, which is fantastic. I actually get a lot of my plants from grocery stores. I use dry beans from the grocery store, and bulk grains from the grocery store, and buckwheat from the grocery store, and gosh, man, you go in the produce section, all those fruit tree seeds that you can harvest, all those roots that you can plant, there's a lot that you can get from the grocery store. And ginger is a particularly easy one. Now, there is something you need to know about grocery store ginger, and that is sometimes the eyes have been cut off it. This one, for example, has the eyes cut off. You can see that there are not good growing nodes. There's one little tiny piece that may actually grow out of it. It looks like it will. But generally, this is a bad one. This is not what you want. This is not a good piece to grow. I would skip this. They cut the eyes off, I imagine, so they keep longer on the shelf. But that is not good for us gardeners. You want ginger with really good eyes. This one has very good eyes on it. You can see how it's trying to grow. This one was damaged and the eyes have been growing back out of it. Not all the eyes were cut off, obviously, and this is going to grow quickly and do well. So I have three pieces that have good eyes and then I have one that barely has an eye and we're just gonna plant it because we feel sorry for it. I've been reading Oliver Twist lately and I think that just like that poor little orphan, this root needs a chance to grow. I like to plant ginger around the base of my fruit trees. They don't seem to fight with each other very much. And I find it easy because I'm probably not gonna plant something else on top of the ginger. And also ginger don't mind a little bit of shade. So if they are next to a tree and the tree is leafing out, that's fine. Ginger can grow in half shade, no problem. So I'm gonna stick them in around the base of this plum tree in my grocery row gardens and we will start a little patch of ginger. We're just gonna plant them about three to four inches deep, probably go up to six inches. They will find their way out. And I'll give them a little bit of space in between. Right here is a ginger plant that we planted this last spring or maybe earlier at the base of a little tree right here. And so if I wanted to, you see how it's all dying back? If I wanted to, I could just pull this whole thing up and see what we have. Look at that. It's ginger. And there's more in here. And I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes because I actually want these guys to just continue making colonies here. But there's enough ginger here that I can divide off multiple plants. Look, each one of these I can go and replant and I can spread ginger all over the place. So long as there's one piece left in here Hey, there's one of my original ones. So long as there's one piece left in here, it'll come back, but I'm gonna leave the rest of my clumps alone, and then I can take these guys and just spread them around.
Ginger is a crop that has a pronounced dormancy cycle. Down in the tropics, it dies back during the dry season, or it dies back when the daylight cycle starts to shorten. And so in Florida, lower Alabama, Georgia, etc., that's the winter. When the winter comes, the ginger is ready to give up. Whether or not it frosts, that ginger is going to die back to the ground and go to sleep for the winter, which is perfect. It's exactly what you want. So you have all of the winter to go out there and pull up roots if you want them. And the same is true with ginger's cousin, turmeric. You just go dig it when it dies down. And that's, that's the indicator. Go and get some. Now you can dig some when it's green if you want, but um, I find that basically the easy time to do it is just wait for it to all die back. I know that it's put the largest amount of sugars and good stuff into those roots. And then I just dig those roots up when I'm ready for them. Now, for those of you that live farther north, I said that you can grow ginger. You can grow ginger probably up to zone six or seven if you mulch the area quite well. But beyond that, grow it in a pot. Really, just go and get yourself some ginger, put it in a pot. When it starts to get towards the fall, when you look like you're gonna get your first frosts, the first few frosts aren't gonna kill it. A hard frost, if it gets down there and freezes the roots, that thing is dead. So what you wanna do is be protected from those hard frosts. So put it in a big old pot so you can grow a clump of ginger in there and then pull it into an outbuilding or something. It's gonna go into a dormancy cycle anyway. It's not like it at needs to actively be growing. So just go ahead and stick that thing in a pot, put it in an outbuilding, put it someplace where it's not going to be freezing and you will have it again. No big deal. Super easy to grow. Are you photobombing me? I like to plant ginger from anywhere about October, November through February into March. If I have roots, I put them in the ground and I know that they're, they're just not gonna grow until the soil warms up. So here, it's pretty much you're looking at like April, May before your ginger starts coming up and, and doing much of anything. So it's, it's just gonna sit there. So if you plant it, say in November, even if you're in a warm climate, if you plant it in November, don't expect to see it like right away. Don't think that it's just gonna pop up and, and start growing rapidly. It has a dormancy cycle. It's like there's a little timer built into that root. And when it wants to grow, it will grow. And it wants to grow when it warms up and it starts to move towards a more summery time. I don't know how it times it, it just does. And that's how easy it is to grow ginger. Super simple. Go to the store, get yourself some ginger that has buds on it, that looks good. Plant it anytime in the fall, winter, spring. If you're up north, put it in a pot. Then, when it dies down the next fall, you can harvest it. You cats, what are you cats doing? If you want to learn more about growing ginger, I will put links below this video. And trust me, there's like nothing that eats it, nothing that bothers it. It's super simple and easy to grow. It doesn't even mind if your soil is only so-so. It is a survivor and a thriver, and it is good medicine. And you can even take the leaves and make tea out of them if you want ginger tea. It's good stuff. So learn more about it at the links below. Thanks for joining me. Catch you all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Get, what are you doing? Why are you even here? Weirdo?